instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, reverence, and rejoice with trembling. Verse 12. We've said it a few times throughout this study. Kiss the Son. Not S-U-N. What's it say? S-O-N. Kiss the Son. Who's the Son? Jesus. Kiss the Son, lest He be angry. And you perish from the way when His wrath is kindled but a little. In other words, just a little bit of God's wrath will be enough to destroy everything here on this earth. But I like what it ends by saying. Blessed are all they, say that all they, amen. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Can you lift your hands up unto the Lord tonight? I'm one of them that places my trust in Jesus. Last verse tonight, verses number 21, verse 21. And the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse. Remember, what's the sword that comes out of Jesus' mouth? The word of God. And the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse. Which, which sword proceeded out of his mouth? And all the fowls were filled with their flesh. Filled. I don't know about you. I like eating until I'm full. Amen. <laughs> And these, God's going to feed these birds real good. Amen. But they ain't going to be eating my flesh and your flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm on the winning side. Amen. After the Antichrist and the false prophet are thrown into the lake of fire, the rest of God's enemies will be killed with the sword of the word of God that proceeds out of Jesus' mouth. The death toll will be so high that the birds of the air will be filled with the flesh of slain men and women. Exodus 15, verse number 3 says that the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Amen. As we said a while ago, can't fight against God and win. Amen. God will have the last say. Can you say amen? Amen. Let's just lift up our hands once again under the king. Hallelujah. Brother Randy, would you, uh, you and Brother Charlie, would you guys come back to the uh, musician, or the instruments tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we just love you. We praise you tonight. We thank you, Lord, for who you are. Nathan, why don't you come on the drop side, okay? Lord, we love you. We praise you. Lord God, we just ask you tonight that we would prepare our hearts. God, it's not your will that we have to face your judgment during the tribulation or even during the very end of the tribulation. It's not your will at all said your word that you're not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that not one person after the rapture of the church takes place. Lord, I pray that if, if, you're, if the rapture were to happen on Saturday, I pray that there wouldn't be anyone from this church banging on the door Sunday morning saying, let me in. I pray that we would all be ready tonight. To meet you. Lord, you could come right now. You could come in the next five minutes. You could come at any time. But Lord, even if you came five years from now, ten years from now, a hundred years from now, we never know when we'll take our last breath here on this earth. David said there's just a step between me and death. I pray right now that the Holy Spirit would deal with every heart. Lord God, that we would prepare our hearts to meet you. In the name of Jesus. While every head is bowed and all the eyes are closed tonight, if you're here tonight, you say, Pastor William, I'll make sure my heart's ready. I'll make sure I'm I'm ready for this rapture you've been talking about. We'll make sure I'm ready. If I had to stand before God, I want to know I'm ready. Would you just make your way up here tonight? Let's pray. Let's just ask the Lord. So, Lord, we just want to make everything right tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's find a place to pray tonight, church. Hallelujah.
Well, I was waiting. 